My name is Susan. I am the grandmother of Jibril, Jamil, Imran Inbar, Isra and Mariam. Five out of my eleven beautiful grandchildren and they are all very dear to me. I have lived in this country for all my life and always felt very proud of it. Sadly to say, after 60 years, I have discovered that there are people in this country abusing their power and split families. It seems to me, especially to families living with hate. We have tried for more than one year to make them listen to us, but they have chosen to keep their ears closed and they don't even come back to us. I want to testify that we are a loving family who puts our, all our children as the highest priority. The harassment my family is exposed to is a shame for my country. And I hope you will share our story to get the stop of this oppression. Thank you. My name is Jens. I am William's brother and I am uncle to these four loving children, Jibril, Jamil, Imran Ingvar and Isra. They are my dearest friends. I love them and I miss them very much. They have been shamefully stolen away from all of us. And I am standing here as a support to my family and as a witness to what they are saying is the truth. Please help us share this story. Thank you. Well, I am the father of the family. I am the grandfather of the four. Ibril, Yamil, Imran and Israel. And I'm, I really can't understand what's happening in this case because it's something wrong with the whole system if they can do what they're doing. And uh, I, I, hopefully they will come to their sense. But, uh, I really don't know what they are doing and it's very strange that it could be like this. I love them very much and I miss them very much also. So it's only very, very, very strange. That's what it is. We recently made a speech to the Prime Minister of Sweden, Ulf Christensen, to explain to him our situation and to request of him to do something to stop this madness. I told him that I hope that he's an honest man, since an honest man would never allow a mother of five children born in this country to be thrown away from her whole family. I hope you who listen help us to share our story and to pray for our family. I wish peace for all of this recording reaches. My name is William Ismail and next to me is three beautiful women. My mother Susan, my wife Anne and our dear daughter Marian. We make this recording from Sweden with hope to reach people from all over the world to witness what is happening to our family and to others in this part of the world. For the past uh, two years, our family has been uh, brutally attacked and uh, Mariam's uh, older siblings, uh, Jibril, uh, Yamil, Imran Ingvar and Isra, who were seen in the beginning in the walk, have all been forcefully stolen from us to then be separated from each other and isolated away from all who they know for uh, over one year. And those uh, responsible for this uh, atrocity has then moved on to forbid us to have any contact with them. We are now not allowed to see them, to speak to them or even to write uh, letters to them. And our wish is not to complain. We uh, want to explain what is happening, hoping that our voice uh, can also be a voice for people who cannot speak for themselves, 
as the attack on families are increasing in this part of the world to become a shameful business where uh, people and corporations are making big money on families being broken up and children being uh, stolen away from their parents. And such falsehood needs to be clearly exposed for the safety of all the men, women and children in the world. And behind all the deception in the media and in the world, there is clearly an ongoing war on the heart and the soul and against nature. And a main target in this war is the family, which is the most natural and sacred unit in all of life. And the highest right of all, it is the right for a child to be with its mother and the right for a mother to be with her child. Rights that have been stolen away from our children and their loving mother for over one year. My name is Anne Solomon. I'm the mother of Jibril, Jamin, Imran, Imbar, Isra and Maryam. I grew up in Canada. For the past 10 years, I've lived here in Sweden with my husband and our children. I have dedicated my life to take care of my children and to be there for them every day and every night. My husband has also been there for them and for me. They have also a family of grandparents, uncles, aunts, and cousins who love them and who have always been there for them. But suddenly we were attacked by people who made all kinds of lies about us and accusations, using that to steal our children away from us. And for the past year, I have been punished with the worst possible punishment a mother can go through, to have all of my children stolen away from me. They have been putting them in homes, exposed to alcohol, and telling the families to feed them the pork knowing that we live a life of faith. And in the middle of all of this, I'm being also threatened to be deported from Sweden, away from my husband and all of my children. We recently made a speech to the Prime Minister of Sweden, Ulf Christensen, to explain to him our situation and to request of him to do something to stop this madness. I told him that I hope that he's an honest man, since an honest man would never allow a mother of five children born in this country to be thrown away from her whole family. I also told him that I'm willing to leave Sweden freely if I'm not allowed to be here, but my children must first be returned to me. I'm not leaving without them. I hope you who listen help us to share our story and to pray for our family. This is my dear family. My father, my brother, my wife, my mother, my sister and my sister's children. Together we are the closest family members and friends of our beloved children and grandchildren, Jibril, Yamil, Imran Ingvar and Isra. Standing, standing by a purpose to heed God's command, all the children live faithfully from what has been done, the children have been done, the children have family who respect the rights of all the people of the world with a common rule to treat others the same way we want to be treated ourselves. And we respect the rights of nature and of every religion in the world that are based on a free will and respect for others. 
And in our faith, uh, there is one true God who created everything that exists. The sun, the moon, the stars, the birds, and every man and every woman. A creator that is almighty, merciful and compassionate. And with his help we seek people from all the faiths of the world to support our struggle to recover our children and to uh, promote peace. And when we have recovered them we seek to leave uh, Sweden peacefully. To look for a home uh, somewhere in the world where we have the freedom to live as a family and the freedom to believe in God and his nature which uh, sadly is not allowed here as they seek to force uh, everyone to a secular faith and uh, away from nature. And to add light uh, to our story we uh, like to share uh, a little bit about how we met with hope to inspire others who are seeking for the true uh, meaning in life. About uh, 12 years ago we left our homes from uh, different uh, parts uh, of the world to be caused to meet in America in a strange place uh, called Las Vegas. I was traveling as a poker player on my way to play the World Championship of Poker. And how my wife uh, ended up in this uh, strange place, uh, she can share a little bit about uh, herself. I decided to travel to Las Vegas to celebrate my birthday with a group of friends. Uh, it's not a place I would go to today, uh, but I lived a totally different life 12 years ago as I worked as a bartender as I finished school. And uh, we were in, a, in the Encore Hotel in the nightclub there, and when I was tired of my surroundings, I left the club with one of my friends in search of something else. And as we were walking around in the huge hotel, uh, we came across one of William's friends, who was outside of a high-stakes poker room. He invited us in, and there William sat, and I sat beside him and watched him play as he focused on his game. He didn't pay too much attention to me at first, but after a while he asked me if I wanted something to drink. So I replied that I could have some water, and from that moment we started our life together and built our family. I uh, grew up on a farm in Sweden uh, with a father uh, breeding trotting horses. And following him around I learned how to make a living uh, out of horse racing and how to play poker. Which led me to be a professional player contracted by the largest uh, poker company in the world. In a team with uh, some of the most famous uh, sports stars. And as many doors uh, opened to me. I was given insight uh, behind uh, the scenes of the world, which made me realize that I was not free uh, as I thought, but actually a slave uh, under a global system and a banking dynasty, which in religious terms may be recognized as the system of the Antichrist, which is a term uh, familiar to Christian, uh, Muslims and Jews, connected with the Holy Land uh, and the end of history. And I realized that I was in need of uh, true knowledge and guidance in life, which made me to do important changes, uh, seeking to be more healthy and humble, which in turn uh, led me closer to faith and prayer. And uh, being born and raised uh, in the West, I'm uh, well aware of the growing dislike uh, towards uh, religion, and especially so uh, towards uh, Islam uh, and Muslims. I was myself uh, affected by uh, the very negative image from the media as I grew up. 
but when I realized the powerful structure uh, behind the scenes and behind the media and the conscious agenda to destroy religion and to keep uh, people away from its teachings I came to learn that true religion and true Islam uh, is not at all what the media is trying to portray it to be. Seeing through this deception, uh, it got clear to me that there is an agenda to force people to one way of life under a world order of secularism, when in fact all true religions are free from force and based on a free will. And uh, we want to share that we recently made a recording about faith and love with references to three of the greatest men to ever have walked on this earth, Jesus, Muhammad and Gautama Buddha. May peace be with all of them. And they reminded mankind that the true meaning of life is not material but spiritual, and that the key to eternal freedom is the key of love and compassion which we also want to remind uh, as many as we can. And in similar ways they liken the life of this world uh, to a bridge, telling people not to get stuck on the bridge but to travel over it and uh, into the next life. And on my journey on the bridge I have been uh, blessed to know uh, people from all faiths, rich and poor, uh, dark and light, Learning as uh, these great men taught uh, that the true meaning of life is in the heart and in the soul and that real riches in life is attributes and actions of kindness and mercy and that real knowledge in life is the knowledge of faith and nature teaching us who we are, how we should live and where we are heading. After Las Vegas, we continued to travel for some time uh, before we got married. And uh, I decided to give up poker uh, as we were preparing ourselves to become a mother and a father. And in a short time we were blessed with three beautiful boys and shortly after them uh, two lovely girls, both born in our own home. And receiving my own daughters in my own hands, in my own home, is surely the greatest experience in my life. And we made a decision to dedicate ourselves to be there for our children, to give them love and security close to nature as a family. And we have been seeking for the purest food and drink to provide them, traveling to the mountains to bring fresh water from deep springs and to get our food uh, directly from uh, organic growers and farmers who have also become our friends, uh, teaching our family valuable things about life which is not uh, taught in the modern schools. And together we have strived uh, to learn uh, basic things in life, 
taking care of animals, uh, fishing, uh, cutting woods, brewing and cooking our own food and uh, making our own uh, yogurt and bread, which have uh, made life uh, meaningful for, to us and uh, helped us to appreciate uh, its blessings. We are not uh, perfect in any way, only God is perfect. But we have managed to keep our family and our children happy and healthy for all of their lives. But there are forces uh, who do not want people to be happy and healthy as it is hard to make money out of such people. And these forces have servants working for them, which in religious terms may be recognized as wolves uh, dressed up as sheep. And all of a sudden our life uh, took a big turn, as we got attacked by people who uh, started to make everything they can to break up our family and to steal our children. It started with two women from social services in our town who stepped into our life to start to accuse us for neglecting our children's health and education and for having a radical faith. Just claiming uh, that there was not enough information about us. And these are people who are obligated by the constitution in this country to be peaceful servants of the, peace, of the people of this land with a duty to respect uh, fa family life and private life and to respect the freedom and dignity of all the men and the women. But these people are working in the exact opposite way against people and against families. And they went on to flag our case as urgent consciously working to steal our children, managing to push their falsehood into a secret uh, type of court, which at that time we had uh, no experience with. And uh, this uh, so-called court, uh, they broke the most uh, basic rules of law to judge only with facts and evidence. To instead issue a false judgment on our family with no facts and no evidence using the accusations of these two women uh, as truth.
And the 22nd of May last year, a group of people came upon us as we were outside uh, in the garden uh, playing with our children. And as they came closer, we uh, asked them to identify themselves, uh, which they refused. Instead, they threw me down to the ground to handcuff me, and uh, they started to chase uh, our children, uh, which tried, who tried to run away from them. And our son, Jibril, uh, who was eight years at that time, he was flying up on the roof uh, of the house to call down to them to show mercy, telling them, you are not sane, you are not sane. But uh, these people did not show any mercy. And shortly after, they carried our sons away in arms and legs to drive them far away from us, where they have been kept completely isolated from all who they know for over one year now. And our dear daughter Isra, she was dragged out of the hands of her mother, still breastfeeding. And as this was happening, the media in our country did all they could to make us look bad and the thieves uh, to look good, which continued for a few months until we started to speak uh, the truth in our own channel, which suddenly made the same media quiet as a sign of their uh, true colors. And when the doctors our children were brought to declare them all to be very healthy, and the teachers and the families, them to be kind and uh, intelligent, they will still not return to us. Instead, the ones uh, responsible have continued to try to do all they can to portray us as bad parents, trying to cover up their own falsehood and the crimes that they themselves are responsible for. And they have done all they can to fabricate a crime against us accusing us for physically abusing our children, bringing them into police hearings, five, seven and eight years old, without anyone they know on their side. And they pretend to be their friends, to then go behind their backs, to attack their mother and their father and their whole family, which is truly evil. And when the accusations of a physical abuse also fail them, they have just moved on to now accuse us for psychological abuse. And they are continuously trying to manipulate our children, using bribes, uh, decision and finger language uh, with the thumbs uh, up and down to make their own interpretations of uh, what our children are saying, to then uh, putting it in their protocols uh, as facts. And they are now claiming that our dear daughter Isra, who was two years when she was stolen, just as we are exposing their falsehood, are supposed to say that Papa beats up Mama till she bleeds in her face, to then record this in a video to show to her. And they shamefully use this as a reason to keep her completely isolated from us and from her own mother, and also in their plot to come after our youngest daughter, Marion. And we have addressed the responsible men and women in open speeches for more than six months, which they uh, do not like as they are trying to hide themselves and their criminal activity behind uh, secrecy. And we have done this respectfully and factually, explaining to them that they are trespassing upon our lives and our property, with no right. And we have given them a due process of law, serving them notices with the facts and evidence, offering them to be forgiven if they rectify their wrongdoings. And when they have choose to not respond to us at all, we have notified them that we are putting a charge on them. For every hour that the trespasses continue, uh, until our children are being returned to us, which are turning into high numbers as time goes. 
And it is a fact that uh, we have done uh, nothing unlawful at the same time as it is a clear fact to everyone to witness that these men and women are continuously breaking the highest laws and the highest rights in life uh, without anyone uh, putting a stop to them. No one has the right to steal. That is the most basic law and one of the main commandments. You shall not steal. And stealing children from their families is truly the work of the devil. And he uses ignorant people to do his dirty work and the media to deceive people to accept uh, such falsehood. Having said this, we want to clarify that we do not seek to slander Sweden. Uh, that is not our style. Our struggle is to recover our children peacefully with facts and evidence uh, by the help of God and compassionate people. In our opinion, it is not a country or a government who are the real problems in the world. The real problems are located inside of the heart of evil men and women who are allowed to abuse power and commit atrocities against the innocent people without anyone uh, putting a stop to them. Before we end, uh, we want people to witness that they are now threatening to force vaccinations on our children. Against our will and with no consent, which is uh, truly unlawful. Our body is uh, our property and uh, our offspring naturally is a product of our bodies and they belong to us and to no one else. They have no right to force injections on our bodies. That is a truly serious trespass. And we want people to witness that we are publicly declaring a charge of 5 million Swedish kroners, 500,000 US dollars on every man or woman who forces uh, vaccinations or other types of injections uh, upon our sons and daughters, as well as for the one uh, responsible for issuing such a sinister decision. And everyone listening to this recording are important witnesses uh, to this statement that we will also be forwarding to uh, the ones responsible uh, in writing. And we hope that our story may help people to recognize the false reality growing in this part of the world. A reality deceiving people to give up their natural status as living, breathing men and women with real rights and real freedom provided by the Creator. To adopt a fictitious status as social security numbers. To become like uh, cattle with no real rights and no real freedom, which many are not aware of since it's a disguised uh, slavery without jackals. We want to thank all of you who took the time uh, to listen to us and all of you who helps us to share our story and who places it on your channels. And we want to say that life is important and that we need to help each other to spread peace and to share true knowledge to make the world a safer place. And we pray that God blesses you with light in your hearts that you may protect your families, your children and your freedom. And as Muslims with respect for the rights and freedoms of all the people of the world, we invite you to join us in a beautiful prayer that we made together with our children shortly before they were stolen from us. With a special love and affection towards our Christian friends around the world. So thank you. Yeah, we are really grateful for those of you who uh, would like to share our story. And we thank you for listening and God bless you all. Okay, it says, Heavenly Father, hallowed be your name.
your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in the heavens. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.